Hi guys! In this video I would like to demonstrate you how to install open source VirtualBox software on your macOS and how to run basically any virtual machine there. As an example, I'll install Ubuntu desktop operating system that is full-featured OS with a graphical user interface and also I'll demonstrate you how to install VirtualBox guest editions to allow smooth interaction between your computer and virtual machine. If you will enjoy this video, please press thumbs up button and subscribe to this channel. Also, in case of any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Ok, let's get started. VirtualBox was developed by Oracle, it is open source and it is available for Windows, MacOS, Linux and Solaris. I'll show you how to install VirtualBox and how to run Ubuntu inside of VirtualBox. For that, let me download VirtualBox for OS 6 host, click on this link. Download has started and also let's download official Ubuntu image. Of course, this is also open source, it is free. And for that, please go to ubuntu.com slash download and I'll install Ubuntu desktop. It is basically a full featured operating system and if you want, you can even replace Windows or MacOS with Ubuntu desktop. Ok, let's click on Ubuntu desktop. And the latest uh, long time support release in my case is 18.04.3 and uh, I'll click download button here. Download was started as well and you see that the size of VirtualBox is uh, about 100 megabytes and the size of uh, Ubuntu ESO image is around 2 gigabytes. Let's wait until both downloads will be finished. Ok, both files were downloaded, uh, let me basically open up downloads folder and let's first install VirtualBox. Let's double click on this DMG installation file, opening, let's double click on VirtualBox.pkg, verifying package, let's click here continue, continue, install. Enter your password. Let's open up security preferences and allow application to be run. Click allow here. Let's close this. Let's close this as well. Here you see that installation has failed, but uh, basically it uh, should be successful. But uh, for the moment, let me keep uh, installation disk image. And let's try to open VirtualBox. And it was successfully opened. Ok, let's now create a new virtual machine. In order to create new virtual machine, click here new icon, this one. And let's give name to this machine and uh, I'll name it Ubuntu Kafka like so. Type will be Linux and the version will be Ubuntu 64 bits. Let's click continue. And uh, here you can allocate uh, how much uh, RAM this uh, virtual machine will be allowed to use. And the minimum recommended size is 1 GB of RAM and let me actually increase it to 2 GB of RAM, like so. I think that uh, it should be enough. Click here continue. On the next step uh, you should allocate uh, hard disk memory for this virtual machine and uh, let's allocate uh, it uh, 10 GB of storage, it will be pretty enough. Let's create. Here you can choose hard disk file type and uh, let's choose default one. VirtualBox disk image VDI. Let's click continue. And the uh, size of the hard disk should be dynamically allocated in order to free resources for other virtual machines if you use multiple of them. Let's click continue. Here you are able to adjust the name of VDI file that will be stored in this folder under users Bogdan VirtualBox VMs Ubuntu Kafka. And I'm happy with this name and let's click create. Ok, new virtual machine was successfully created and uh, now I need to adjust settings and attach ESO image with Ubuntu installation to this virtual machine. For that, let's open up settings here, go to storage and uh, here under controller.id choose empty disk and click here on this small blue disk icon and uh, choose a disk file. Navigate to Downloads folder or any other folder that contains ESO image with Ubuntu installation. Let's select this file and click Open. And now let's click OK and run, actually start this virtual machine. Click on this icon. 
let's adjust also accessibility access, open system preferences, and unlock those settings, enter password, scroll down, find the VirtualBox application, check this checkbox and the close settings. Here you'll see that VirtualBox has detected that there is optical disk with file attached and I am happy with that. I want to actually create new virtual machine using this ESO image. Let's click start. And here I'll see pretty pretty small desktop and in order to make it larger, let's click on this desktop icon. Select here virtual screen 1 and scale to for example 250% like so. And now it is larger. Let's close those notifications. Yes, let's allow access to microphone. Installation is running. Let's click here install Ubuntu and I'll leave language English here selected by default. Install Ubuntu. Again, leave English as default language. Click continue. Here I'll select default normal installation and select the checkbox download updates while installing Ubuntu. Let's click continue. On the next step, you'll see that this computer has currently no detected operating systems and the default option is erase disk and install Ubuntu. And I'll leave this uh, option selected uh, and please note that uh, your disk will not be erased. Uh, only virtual disk allocated to this specific virtual machine will be erased and new Ubuntu operating system will be installed there. Also, you are able to enable encryption of your installation if you want, but I will not do that. Ok, let's click install now button. Click here continue. On the next step you can select your location and I am happy with default one, New York. Let's click continue. Now you are prompted to enter your name and pick up username. I'll enter my name here, like so, and username will be also Bogdan and here I could enter my password. Notice that at this step new user called Bogdan in my case will be created and this user will have pseudo privileges. I would like also to select this option login automatically in order to speed up process of logging into this operating system. And now let's click continue. And finally installation process was started and uh, usually it takes up to 5 minutes depending on resources on your MacBook. Ok, installation is complete and uh, now I need to restart computer in order to use new installation. Let's click restart now button. It seems I need to press enter here. Let's close this notification. And finally Ubuntu was booted up successfully and notice that I wasn't prompted to enter my password for user Bogdan. Ok, you can read what is new in Ubuntu and uh, click here next multiple times. Let me just skip this tutorial and now let's try to do the following. Let's try to expand this window to full screen mode by clicking on this button. And here I'll see message that uh, I will be able to get back to windowed mode by pressing uh, command and F. Ok, let's switch to full screen mode. And here you'll see this uh, fancy small desktop that wasn't actually stretched to full screen. And the reason for that is that by default there are no so-called guest editions installed on this virtual machine and we need to install them manually. And you can do so by going to devices menu and selecting insert guest editions CD image. Let's click on it. Let's remind me later about updates. And after that you should see that new CD was inserted into your virtual machine and this CD contains software intended to be automatically started. And if you see this message simply click run. Let me enter my password, authenticate, installing VirtualBox guest editions. And notice that uh, while it is installed, my screen will be stretched to full screen as well. Press return to close this window. Installation was completed. Notice that if you didn't see this CD attached to your virtual machine, you need to do the following. Let me make this window smaller and uh, go to machine menu and select ACPI shutdown, this one. Shutdown virtual machine. 
After that, go to settings, click on this yellow icon, go to storage. And here you need to create new virtual CD. Again, in my case, installation was successful. And if in your case, you have seen message that CD is not available, you need to perform those steps. Click on this blue icon and create new optical drive. Leave it empty. Click on this button, leave empty. And you should see new ID controller attached to your virtual machine. And after that, you need to boot your virtual machine once again and try to perform installation of VirtualBox editions once again. In such case, installation of VirtualBox editions should be successful. Okay, basically, I don't need this new virtual CD. I'll remove it for now. And here I'll also eject this installation ISO image from virtual drive. Click on this menu item and now I'll see that my CD controller is empty. OK, let me now boot up virtual machine again. Click Start. OK, boot it up and now let's try to make virtual machine full screen once again. Don't show this message again, switch. And now after successful installation of guest editions, you should see that the desktop of this virtual machine was stretched to full screen. Now let me show you how you are able to adjust resolution of this virtual machine display. For that, let's go out from full screen mode by pressing Command F. And here in the bottom, in this row with different settings, click on desktop icon. Here, go to virtual screen 1 and recap that I have set scale to 250%. And that's because I am actually using Retina display on my MacBook Pro. And now let me change scale to 200%, like so. And go to full screen mode once again. And now resolution of this desktop in virtual machine was adjusted. And now I have more space than before. And actual resolution is here. Let's go to settings. Click on this drop down icon. Afterwards, click on this icon. Settings should be opened. Select devices here. And here you'll see resolution of your display. In my case, resolution is here. And I'm actually happy with this resolution. It is not too large and not too small. OK, now we have Ubuntu running on macOS using VirtualBox. Yeah.